Tony Blair's visits to Westminster are rare these days, so his appearance at the House of Commons was something of an event. He was asked to speak before the Foreign Affairs Select Committee to explain his relationship with Colonel Gaddafi, Libya's leader, until 2011. This was 2007. Mr Blair pressed the flesh of a dictator, but the former PM today defended doing so. I think it's important that we brought them in from the cold, as it were, and important also in today's context, because I think particularly if we'd still had the, the residue of, of that chemical weapons program in Libya today, given the state of Libya today, given the presence of ISIS there, I think it would have constituted a real risk. We now know Mr Blair phoned the beleaguered colonel several times as Libya fell. So what was the purpose of those calls? It's been presented as if I was trying to save Gaddafi. I wasn't trying to save Gaddafi. My concern was not for his safety. My concern was to get him out of the situation so that a peaceful transition could take place. But to bring Gaddafi on side, did it make the British government reluctant to ever raise the Libyan involvement in the Lockerbie bombing or their part in the shooting of WPC Yvonne Fletcher? Mr Blair said those issues were never sidelined. We didn't hold back on Lockerbie or Yvonne Fletcher. On the contrary, we got not just the compensation agreed, but you know, we don't want to go back into all the McGrahi stuff and so on, but those trials happened again under my government. Tony Blair said David Cameron's decision to intervene in Libya in 2011 was done in good faith. But this was the day the former Prime Minister defended his own international dealings. Julian Drucker, Five News.